Hi everybody and welcome back to another episode on my solo series. Since the last episode, I have piddled around a little bit. I made a few little changes and I did a few little things. We're going to look at those real quick and then we're going to go put signs on the monument first on the little cobble slab first uh, and then the rest of the episode is going to be, well, we have to go into the nether. We just, we just have to. I have to get stuff so I have to find a fortress. <sighs> yeah. It's, it, this, this is going to be a long one, but I have to find the fortress. So, <laughs> but first let's show you a little bit of what I did. So I changed the upstairs a teeny tiny bit. As you can see, I basically extended the loft all the way over, made some steps going up uh, because I thought, you know, I just, I wanted to have a few more spaces of chests in here um, just for a little bit more storage. And so I moved my bed over to this side. So yeah, that's what I, that's what I did. I, I really like this. Moved the chair to right there. The other thing I worked on. So yeah, here's the path. I like to do, I really like to do random type styles. So I pick materials that kind of match whatever structure that I've been doing. And so that's what I've done here. So I've got acacia trapdoors, dark oak uh, um, slabs, and then the brick slabs and then some sandstone slabs, and then I just put in a few path blocks here and there. So we'll walk along. So I make the path all the way to here. Right down here, I'll put a few little horse stalls. And then up here, we will run this path. Oh, it's almost night, I gotta have to sleep. So I made this path all the way up, halfway up this hill. That's what we've got so far. <laughs> And there is a teeny tiny cobble thing sticking out of the sand right there. That is actually right above a skeleton spawner. I was down there all under here caving and I completely lost my way around but I found that dungeon and I thought, you know what, the easiest thing is to just dig up and see where I'm at. So um, luckily it, it wasn't too far, it's just right over there and I literally have no idea what what to do with the skeleton dungeon. I mean, I don't know how to set one up. <laughs> yeah, I've never done one by myself. I usually am with other people on a multiplayer and they're usually like, okay, do this, dig here, dig there. And then, you know, that's that's usually what it is. I, I don't even know. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to just figure out how to do that myself. I might have to save that for a stream because then I can actually get the viewers to help me. <laughs> I can say, hey, what am I supposed to do here? And, but anyhow, so here we are. Uh, we're going to add five more names, which I do have signs with me. All right, and the first name is Anjanette, let's just abbreviate, PK. And she says, I love the Acacia and Sandstone together. Your house is awesome. You decorate like a oh, great video. Well, thank you, Anjanette. I don't. Uh, sometimes I don't think I'm a super pro, but I'm learning and I do like, I usually like what I do. Usually I'm pretty happy with most of everything that I do. Um, okay, and the next person is David Schaefer. He says, your builds are talented. I enjoy watching you work. Keep it up. I love the fact that you included the dead plants as a bit of realism. Nice touch. Uh, thank you. Thanks, David. I appreciate that. Yeah, I, lo I love to use the dead bushes for um, decorations, uh, especially in the spots where you think, you know, you might have forgotten to water something. <laughs> I really like using those. Okay, um, next person is Arthur Dennis. And he says, cool little house. I like the background music too. Uh, I'm a new subscriber and looking forward to seeing more from you. Wow, awesome, thank you so much, I appreciate that. So glad that you found the channel and I'm so glad you're enjoying this, this series as well. All right, last name for this episode is Jody Moore. And she says, LOL, well, you look like a cactus running around with all those arrows stuck in your armor. Uh, the raid parties are a nuisance when trying to build. Good job dispatching them. Yeah, yeah, they are. They're they kind of get annoying sometimes, but 
<laughs> yeah, I do like this. I do like that in the Java version you have the arrows stuck in you because I just it just looks funny. Um, in the Bedrock Edition, which I play sometimes, I uh, you I've never seen the arrows stay stuck like that. So I really I really like this that feature. I guess it's a feature. <laughs> We really have to go into the nether. We have to find a fortress and I'm, my portal's in a really bad spot and I'm going to have to dig probably, I don't know. And I, and I don't even know where, what direction exactly. I think I want to go Z. I want to go in the minus Z direction. I think that's the direction you're supposed to go. That's what we're going to do. Uh, let's see how long it takes me to find a fortress. All right, here we are in the nether. I've got my blocks and several picks. And let's see what direction we're going to go. That portal is loud. Um, there was a, uh, like a ravine type thing over here. Yeah, I think I'm going to, um, I think I'm going to go down here. see is it safe yeah all right i am not going to worry about collecting quartz right now uh let's see what direction in case i die i actually should have these coordinates on um minus z is that way okay all right so here we go we're gonna fast forward I'm not some of this. So, if y'all just saw that, it said I entered a terrible fortress, but I am inside stuff. I'm inside netherrack. I, uh, so, it's near me, apparently, but where? <laughs> That's the question. Um, I'm, and I'm only at minus 96Z. I was kind of expect. There it is. Um, I was expecting to have to go a couple hundred blocks at least. Okay, let's see where we are. And there goes my pick. I've got two more left. Oh, what? I forgot to make a shield, but at least I've got stuff on me. Okay. Not that I really know how to use a shield. I, I fail at it a lot. I forget to click to use it. Okay. Where are we? Alright, so make a note of my coordinates. I am at 8 and minus 100, basically. So let's... I'm gonna do this. We're at the end of a dead end, so I guess that makes it kind of easy. Let's just see if there's... No, I don't think there's one over there. Okay, um... Oh, let's pop down a... One of these, and let's make a shield. Is that it? No. 
kind of scared. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Hopefully I don't die. How's my armor look? Uh, mostly full. That's good. Okay. It's a blaze spawner. Oh, nice. Oh, what? That's another one. Okay, so there's... I'm a little surprised I haven't seen any mobs. All right, let's mark this corner. All right, so we're down that way. That's how to get back. All right, so there are two blaze spawners. Now we just need some nether wart. <laughs> really? Um, I'm not close enough to activate either. Uh, let's see. I'm kind of thinking that I should get nether wart first. Um, I need to find nether wart first, I think, because this looks like a dead end. I haven't even heard any. Oh, all right. So that looks like it's that might be a good one because it's almost completely enclosed. That won't take me long to enclose. Oh. Okay, they're already shooting at me. gonna do this for now because I really want to find the nether wart first so let's I've not heard a single wither skeleton yet so okay like sure those guys don't hear me that looks like a dead end um... See if I can find my way back. I went down, I went up twice. So, ah. Okay. <laughs> oh. Goodness. All right, well, we're just gonna have to make a run for it. I don't think the shield protects against the fire, though. You know, it doesn't. Oh no, lag. Lag, no. Okay, got it. Whew. Okay, I'm hearing more. Alright, so it looks like let's block this off. Okay. So this was the level. Okay, I think this was the level that the places were at. Oh, magma cube. Ah! Ah! Okay. Lock you in there. How about that? All right, but I think was that the that was the way. I think that might have been the way to the place. Oh man, I didn't make a note of the coordinates for those the blaze spawners. Or were they at this level? Uh, I don't remember seeing this. Okay, so no, they're down at the other level, so this is 74, so they're at 67. Let's do this. Okay. 
Yeah, I don't recall seeing this, so. All right. Stairs, this is good, because stairs usually means, ooh, you're in that place. I don't know where it is. All right, but a chest, that is good. Ooh, more nether work. Okay, let's go ahead and mark this. I'm almost out of torches. Alright, uh, I haven't seen a single wither skeleton. That's kind of odd. Alright, we're going to grab all of this. Or they could be out there. That is definitely the sound of the wither skeletons. Alright, so that's the way back. Oh, more chests. Oh my goodness. I'm going to run out of room. Well, um, is this enclosed? Let's go take a quick peek. Ah, <gasps> this is fully enclosed. This might actually be, this might be the best one. Okay. Oh. Just come on down here, please, so I can hit you. How much we got? Seven. You know what? I will just deal with seven. We'll deal with seven for now. <laughs> Let's go home. Let's go home. Seven blaze rods? That's okay. I'll deal with that. So I've got full sand, nether wart, seven blaze rods. Let's see how much quartz we've got. Okay, not a whole lot. I'm gonna have to go back and totally get a lot more quartz. Five diamonds. Awesome. In between now and next episode, I'm gonna plant this nether wart, get it going. Um, maybe start brewing a few potions because you know what we have to do next. I realized that um, there seems to be more votes on a Mediterranean style type of a build. So uh, we really need Prismarine. We've got to go dig this up. Let's see. Let's look at it. Um, where am I? I have no idea where it is in relation to where I'm standing, but I will go and find it because there's probably a heart of the sea. And if there is, I can make a conduit whenever I find a monument. Next episode will be probably searching for a jungle and an ocean monument. And uh, just so we can get some stuff. Thank you for watching today, everybody. If you like, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you subscribe, thank you so much. I appreciate that. And I hope to see you on the next episode. More adventuring is ahead. Bye.